31 free agents. 2022 trace starts. Use Jimmy Garoppolo 26 million and get cornerback free agency, uh, free agent Mitchell, Williams, Debo, Juice, Bosa, Warner, Ward, add pieces with Jimmy Garoppolo, money, resign Quan. You think it's gonna be if they if this team goes to the playoffs and they get rid of they just get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo. Is that is that a is that a popular move? If this team goes to the playoffs, do you just reload every I see it seems like it's a very difficult transition next year if they make the playoffs. It seems like you gotta bring the team back. I don't think it is. I think that the NFL is such a business that the players understand that aspect of it. I think they all saw it's it's part of the reason why this season has been so foobar, right? Is because of the the mixed message that has been sent to the to the locker room. I believe that the rest of the team knows the writing is on the wall for Jimmy G and it would take a miracle potentially a Super Bowl appearance or a Super Bowl victory to bring him back as a starter next year. Okay, but here's the thing. If they move on from Jimmy G, how many of these vets are going to want to come back and play with Trey Lance? I mean, what's the team going to look like next year with Trey Lance? How's Debo Samuel going to feel? Hold, let's put it this way. Everyone assumes that everyone, that everyone wants Trey Lance to be the quarterback. Right. Debo Samuel is on a record pace right now. I don't think he's mad about the quarterback. I don't no. know. But I don't think he's mad about the quarterback. I mean, let's say Debo Samuel goes for like 2,000 yards this year. And they change the quarterback, and the and it's just a little off next. Year. Is he going to be happy about that? It does. Do you see what I'm saying? I, I do. I it's think he's going to be happy as long as he gets his bag. I I mean I I think Debo is clearly out for sure. cashing in as he should, That's as true. he absolutely should, as he deserves. That's true. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. If, if, he, um, if he if he's making 18 mil a year, I don't think he cares who's throwing him the ball. Possible. With Mac, you are literally watching Belichick use Mac the exact same way he envisioned with Jimmy. Mac is Jimmy G 2.0. Only difference is first round pick versus second. Yeah. And like, I think what, what I, it sounded like they were kind of interested in trading for Jimmy Garoppolo. They, right. you know, they would have paid him a lot more than they're paying Mac Jones. They would have had to give up like a six round pick or something easy, something low uh, that, that the Niners weren't willing to accept. But um, so they, they spent a first on Mac Jones. They don't have to spend much money on him. It worked out, but yeah, same thing. Yeah, it, it does make now it makes a little more sense that that they were in fact inquiring about Jimmy G and, and you see what the fit would have been in their offense and he probably would have been as successful if not more so. You got to remember too that Bill Belichick won those first three Super Bowls with Brady when Brady was very cheap. Yeah, he was a sixth round pick who was very cheap and he became the greatest quarterback of his era and they paid him all that money. Um, but I think. If Belichick could have it his way, the way he wants to build a team is with a quarterback who's pretty cheap. And I get it. I get it because really you don't have to spend a lot of money on a quarterback. And I think a lot of teams feel like as long as if I overspend on a good quarterback, it guarantees me something. Yeah, mediocrity, maybe. But that's not the way Belichick goes after it. I like that. I also, you have to recognize that with his tenure there in in New England, he has such a rare level of confidence and such a a rare level of flexibility in everything that he does that if he wants to build a team in a certain way, he he just goes about it and the fan base gets right behind him because there's a long track record of success. He's like, yeah, this was the formula from 2001 to 2004. We're going to go. It, okay, yeah, that did work from back there. Okay, Great. Point. Go ahead, yeah. Bill. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I remember that. Ellis says, if the Niners succeed in the run game, they're good. Pretty much, pretty much. That's why the potential absence of Elijah Mitchell this, this season, this week, is so, I don't want to say intriguing. It's intriguing from my perspective. It's probably worry, worrisome from a, from a fan's perspective. Very much so. What's your What's your gut say? If you had to bet right now on whether he not plays gonna, or not, not gonna you play. think he's... I've never... I, I can't remember the last Niners player who was listed as doubtful. doubtful. Actually, not going to play. Yeah. Chris says, I think we keep it up this week, 38-10 Niners with 175 plus rush yards. That'd be cool. Ooh, I mean, we. they definitely could do that. It's the freaking Jaguars. You just did it to the Rams. Do it, do it again. Yeah. Do it again. I'd it love would to- be very impressive against that run defense, though. I mean, it is stouter than than people want to give it credit. But again, this is a team that could quit at home in the yeah. second quarter. Like, make them quit. Orbital Death says, Grand Rob, thanks for the insights and entertainment. Kyle needs to stick to the run, and the Niners are offensive identity or play the rookie simple. Orbital Death. I Orbital agree. Death. 